Hey guys, welcome back to TomZane.us. Um, so I recently have gotten a lot of questions regarding, um, you know, the classic question, uh, how do you open Word documents without using Microsoft Word? Um, so for instance, if you're like in a situation where you uh, couldn't get an, uh, a copy of Microsoft Office because it does cost money, uh, aka if you want to look for a free uh, solution to uh, the Microsoft Office uh, suite softwares. There is this thing called Opens Office, and uh, what you do is you go to Google and then you type in um, Open Office. It's just one word, and let's see what we have. The first link you click on it. Basically, it's openoffice.org if you just want to type in the direct URL. And um, here on the web page, you see this. Obviously, it's the free and open productivity suite. Um, it's, it's my solution to uh, Microsoft Office. Now, don't get me wrong. Microsoft Office is great. It's the industrial standard for all documents, Word documents. Uh, but sometimes, you know, if you're like a poor college kid like me, I'm always, you know, trying to look for uh, uh, free ways of doing things with quality. So this is my solution. I click on download, and then you click on uh, you click on download. After that, you click on download Office Open Office Org 3.3.0. Uh, That's their most recent uh, uh, version. And if you are interested in their um, uh, beta versions you can do that as well you can click on the beta one down here but for the rest of us uh, this is the most stable version and they do come in 32 and 64 bit and so what that means is you know if you're running a 32 bit which means your uh, CPU or your RAM is lower than 4 gigs you take the 32 and if your RAM is more than 4 gigs, you take the 64. So since my computer has more than 16 gigs of RAM, and this is how you check it, you go to Start button, right click my uh, computer, and then click Properties. And then this dialog will show you installed RAM 16 gigabytes, as is in my case. And it'll tell you your system type, whether it's a 64 or a 32. And so with that being said, let's click this and a download link will show up. Um, but since I've already downloaded, I just go ahead and cancel that. And uh, let's see what we have here. Oh, I just click on this is my, okay. And then I just launch the installation and I just keep uh, clicking next. Choose where you want to install it and then uh, I'll just go with the standard, I'll unpack it and then after it unpacks it should uh, come up with the installation as, is, uh, as it is doing right now and uh, it's just unpacking some of the Visual C++ runtime required for this program and I just follow the steps, keep on clicking next and then type in a username, uh, in this case Tom Zhang and the organization is tomzang.us and it's for all users and I would just click on the typical um, the custom will show you which ones you want to install so obviously this is a suite so that means it comes with the writer which is the equivalent to Microsoft Word the calculator uh, I believe that is like the Excel and the draw is like a, a mini Photoshop impress is like the um, uh, what is it called? The presenter? Um, let's see here. Uh, PowerPoint. Yes, so the impress would be like the equivalent of Microsoft PowerPoint or Keynote for a Mac user. And the base is more like everything uh, together and the math is more like a standalone Mathematica, if you will. Uh, it's like a Wolfram Mathematica for those of you who've used uh, those uh, applications before. So I'll just pick the typical which I think will install everything and then you can choose to create a link on your desktop uh, so you can easily access it later on and uh, the, 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 whole, uh, the whole installation I think I downloaded was what 150 megabytes 
and I think it does uh, also try to download um, some other stuff during this process as well. Um, one thing I find uh, OpenOffice to be very useful is, you know, obviously if uh, you know if I'm just uh, you know just making a fresh installation of my uh, operating system, uh, I do not have a um, a copy of Microsoft Word or Office. I, I had. Uh, I have it when it first came with my computer, but uh, you know, once I've reinstalled everything, I don't have the disk for it. I only have the disk for Windows 7, and uh, so that basically I'm I'm uh, sort of SOL. Um, so I gotta really, you know, just uh, find a solution for uh, you know uh, uh, for opening uh, Word documents and Excel documents and making PowerPoints. And I find Open Office to be a very, very efficient way to do that. And also, if you do hear raindrops or thunderstorms in the background, it's it's because we're having a little uh, a, a tornado crisis here in Arkansas. So bear with me. Uh, it's 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 been a pretty rough night actually. Last night I got woken up at a, at about twelve o'clock and sirens going off everywhere. All right, so the installation is finished, and I believe that gives us the go ahead to let's see where is it the open office here it is, and you can choose to register now later. I'll click not. And then this is basically the open office interface. And as you can see, it's developed by Oracle, one of the largest database companies in the world. Uh, they also own the uh, flip cameras. You probably heard of them, but recently they pulled the plug on flip cameras. So, uh, you know, now you probably can't find flip cameras for sale anymore other than you know just the remaining ones uh, on the shelves that are trying to get rid of and so we have here you know text documents spreadsheets uh, quite a bit um, presentation you know so let me just open it okay so this is the open office writer which I mentioned before is the uh, equivalent to a Microsoft uh, Word and um, you know you can check for updates and it says it I have 3.3 it's the uh, most updated version and let's see what we have here oh does not exist let me see if there's like a, a sample text file I can uh, open up and see well, it, okay, I guess I don't, but anyways, this is a pretty good stuff. You guys can play with it yourselves. Uh, I'm just making a quick uh, video on how to install this and just trying to show you guys that everything does work. This is the spreadsheet, and notice how it's all basically in one program, so you don't have to open three programs at once. All right, so from a template, dot 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 there we go there you go you know it looks very similar to you know what we're always used to the Microsoft uh, PowerPoint and notice it does actually save uh, in ODP which is their native uh, file format but you can also save it in PPT which is the standard industrial standard that we're all so used to and uh, it does for the all the other ones too you know so for instance if I want to do the text I can save it as the open uh, open office uh, text format or I can do the uh, DOC which is industrial standard or uh, actually I think the more recently they had a DOC X but I couldn't find it here but you can definitely save it in DLC and you can export this to be a PDF. It's really simple. Hello from TomZang.us and let's export this as a PDF by clicking this and let's save it, uh, let's see, to a place where it's easily foundable and let's save that 
and it's right here. Um, but I, okay, here we go. See that? There we go. Good stuff. And, uh, yeah, so that just exported it to PDF. No hassle, no external. Uh, so, good stuff. All right, guys, so uh, that's that's all for me today. I'm uh, basically showing you guys how to uh, survive without Microsoft Office or Microsoft Word. Um, or, you know, if you're on a tight budget like me as a college kid, uh, we're always looking to, you know, save the next penny for the textbooks. Um, so anyways, guys, uh, this is just a quick video showing you guys, you know, how to get uh, Microsoft um, uh, Office-like quality softwares for free. This is 100% free. You, have to, you don't have to pay anything for it. So please go ahead and rate, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm really counting on you guys to help me out. I'm trying to reach the 200,000 uh, viewer peak now by the, uh, hopefully by the end of June. And I uh, really need you guys to help me uh, in doing that. You know, please tell your friends, family, post on Facebook, TomZane.us. I got some cool videos on, you know, iPod, iPad, iPhone, uh, computer hardware for the more geeky and uh, you know some app reviews game reviews uh, so yeah so that's all from me today folks uh, really appreciate you watching and until next time I'll see you here at tomzane.us thanks